Hello everybody, we are here in York, Pennsylvania at the York RV Hello everybody, we just got to York, Pennsylvania at the York RV show and we're about to go look at some RVs. I'm pretty excited. Me too. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. they have some drivables there and some travel trailers, obviously. Excited to see what they have. Yeah. Let's go. For context, we visited the York RV show in March of 2021. Okay. Hello. There you go. Mission for two. Have you been to the show before? No, we have not. Each booth has a red piece of paper with a number on it. Okay. If you match the number, let them know. There's a prize booth and you can win a prize. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, cool. Thank you. With over 80 exhibitors in three different buildings, we knew we had a ton to do and see. So we grabbed a quick snack and headed into the show. Check out this little guy. Very comparable to ours. Yeah. Oh, look, they have a Murphy bed. Come on, Murphy bed. Thing. It's just basically like reverse. Yeah, no slide. No slide. So you definitely do feel that. Come back, the shower is actually not terrible. Yeah, it's a pretty decent size. I mean, me, it'd be so a little cramped. Yeah. Because uh, we don't have the slope ceilings or the barreled ceilings. Yeah. Yeah. It's a pretty good storage in here, though. In this section. Yes, yeah, in the bathroom. Well, it's in a pretty decent spot. I think it would have enough room. Mm -hmm. I can tell it's plastic, not porcelain. <laughs> fridge ain't bad. That's a Norco fridge. Yeah, it should be a 12 volt fridge, so that's kind of nice. Then we have, this would be a good one for yeah. like a little couple or. Yeah, exactly. If you're looking to like get in, I, this is. This is not bad at all. And if you solid. don't want to deal with a slide, it's perfect. Now, height wise, I'm six foot four. And you can see I got a couple inches. But not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Well, this has the flat ceiling, right? Not the barrel ceilings. I would say, though, for the price, we got our Shadow Cruiser for less than that. And uh, I would buy the Shadow Cruiser all day long. Well, yeah, who wouldn't buy a Shadow Cruiser? Sorry, I'm biased. Yeah, woof. <laughs> Need to hang it over our bar. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is sharp. This is better. It's I, the same price. Yeah, that's what I don't understand. Oh, the other like, one we looked at. Thing? This design is so much nicer, though. Yeah. That's a better slot for the TV. And you can go bigger. Yeah. Is there, there's no slide. No slide. No slide. But it's very spacious. Very spacious. Huge party deck. I wonder what the length is end to end. Oh, Frank, you know what we could put right here? Motorcycle. E-bikes. Uh, E-bikes, okay, that's true. E-bikes. <laughs> and then a motorcycle. Spoiler alert, we have an Indian Roadmaster. All right. Okay. It's a nice little bedroom. Yeah, it's very doable. Walk around the bed. Yeah, and it has door access to the bathroom. Yeah. The bathroom's right here. You have the nice corner shower, some good storage, commode. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like this tour. This is one of the better toy haulers that we've seen, really. Yeah. You have the ventilation, obviously, for your gas products. Yeah, it's pretty good. You know, on this one, I'm going to look up the ratings on the outside. It has a 15K AC. That's good. That's sharp. Ooh. Little moonroof. Look at all the control panel. Yeah, that's cool. This is pretty good. I like this layout. Yeah, good size. I, uh, the uh, TV placement, which is, you know, important to me for whatever reason. Well, I like that because you can rotate it, I'm guessing, to go to the bed. Yeah, you know, I think you're right. Yeah, so yeah. you're in bed. So you can rotate it to the bed. Easy access. It looks like it swings out even more. I kind of like this. Yeah, swing it back in before somebody hits their noggin. Ceilings are good height. Yeah, great pantry storage. Bathroom's pretty good. 
toilet. Pretty good size. Yeah, it's a nice little guy. As you can see, everything was really spaced out and really easy to get into. All right, here we go. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. This is excellent. So empty weighs a little over 7,000 pounds. So you may or may not be able to do this with a half ton pickup. Okay. Look at that. I mean, what is that? That's backlighting for the TV. Oh. And storage. That's really cool. So you can put your VHS tapes and your laser disc back there? Your laser disc? Absolutely. Some people are gonna be like, what the heck is that? Frank, you're 35 years old, so I'm like <laughs> 50. Yeah, we had those in elementary school. Nice speakers. And you can see the height. I mean, it's close, but I still have it. Get them 6'4 for reference. This is nice. This is really nice. Oh, you can access the bathroom from the other side. Oh. So. And that was a motion light that turned on when I came in too. Oh, that's really that's nice. That's really sharp. Nice corner shower. Here we have an upgraded fan. Plastic. Plastic, okay. Wait, no. I'm Porcel sorry, that's porcelain. Ooh. <laughs> nice big bedroom. This is nice. It's this is really great. In addition to the three different buildings, there were also plenty of RVs to check out outside. This is pretty cool. 90k, baby. That van. Oh, that's nice, though. This is pretty, pretty nice for your size. Yeah. It's cute, little beds, little fireplace. I like the concept of these, but no bathroom. Yeah, I like using the bathroom. Swift. That's a great size. Let's check this one out. Jayco, Melbourne, 24T. I like Holy that. Crap, this is nice. Oh, this is really solid. Love that couch. Nice bunk couch. Wet my lens. My greasy hands for my fries. TV's up there. TV's not my favorite spot. No, but that's a convection microwave, so no oven. No that's oven. fine with me. Yeah. Uh, no cold fridge. Here's the bathroom. Um, uh, it's not terrible. It's not it's, great. It's doable. You basically have to like float in the sky to use the toilet. That's fine. I kind of like this bed design though. Oh my god, I love it. Like we'd have our own beds. Yeah. Honestly. But if, we, if we wanted, we could put beds in the middle too. But we can each get a dog. Yeah, we each get a dog. And then I mean, the storage is nice. Yeah. It's funny. It seems kind of like a class C, but it borrowed like this from like the class B's. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, it's not bad. No. Yeah. And it's on a Mercedes chassis. You're always gonna you're always gonna spend more when they're on a Mercedes chassis. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Seatbelts. There's only two left at the show tour. Oh gosh. Where's my checkbook? Get it out now. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So you have extra space. Toy, what are you liking about the show so far? I like that we were able to see some nice Class C's, Class B's. Um, the last one we went to over the summer, unfortunately, they only just had towables, which which we love seeing towables, don't get me wrong, but it was just nice to get into some Class B's because that's honestly my dream. Yeah, that's the direction I think we're in going. I mean, we like Class B's too, but I think they're a little small for us. Yeah. Mostly me. Um, not all of them have bathrooms or they have the wet baths, but Class C's definitely where we go out. But yeah, we've noticed a lot of the RV shows just have a lack of Class C's lately. Yeah. Um, this one definitely had more than the last one, which mm -hmm. is, I think, one or none. There's like one there or two used one ones. There was one used one, yeah. Yep. Um, but no, this has been great because we've been able to see some other dealerships in the area that we weren't sure 
Um, there's some nice booths set up with like different campgrounds. So it's been great just to kind of get in the camping mode and see some things and think about, you know, finally going on our first camping trip this summer. Absolutely. Spring. But yeah, overall, really nice experience and uh, they have a really big selection. Uh, they have hot dogs, compliments to the chef. chef. <laughs> <laughs> the fries are really good too. Yeah. Compliments to the chef. They had uh, Barks root beer, which we love. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so if you need to come to <laughs> so if you need, They had birch beer that was sparkling, never heard of it, didn't never want to try either, it. Yeah. 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 But uh, the overall fun experience, they have a lot of vendors, they have mm -hmm. your typical vendors, campgrounds. Uh, I bought some really good hot sauce. Actually, do you have that in the bag? I do it? have some hot sauce. Uh, KOA is giving out these really nice bags. Yeah. Here's your hot sauce. Yeah, it's the second time I've bought the hot sauce. It's called the uh, Green Weenie Hot Sauce, mm. and it's for Soldier Solutions. And I was talking to the guy, it's pretty cool. What they do is majority of the proceeds actually go to um, uh, training dogs for veterans that come back with yep, like PTSD. Training rescue dogs. Yep, rescue to dogs. To become service dogs for veterans, which is great. So that's really cool. Mm -hmm. um, and I've had that hot sauce before. It's really awesome. They have t-shirts too, but yeah, no one has Frank size, unfortunately. But uh, they so only come have... for the Barks root beer <laughs> and the hot sauce. <laughs> the hot sauce. <laughs> Don't worry about the RVs. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we'll keep on touring around. I appreciate you guys watching and uh, hopefully it gives you some ideas. Not everybody can get out right now. Not everybody's comfortable getting out right now. And not every area uh, has these kind of events going on right now. So mm -hmm. yeah, come along with us, see what's out there. We'll try to do our best. Like I said, it's pretty crowded. Pretty crowded, pretty loud in some places. So our audio may not be as good as it normally is, uh, but we're trying our best here. Yep. So we'll try to get you as many campers as possible. Uh, we're travel trailers, uh, you know, or RVs or whatever you want to call whatever them. Whatever we're checking out. Yep. Oh, I think that's the shuttle. There's a shuttle. There's the shuttle that we've, we've been the looking for. The shuttle that we've been. So I think that is the building. I think that's the last building. Twenty-four CB. Ooh. Wow. I like the, the other one's better. Like I don't know, but look, there's a TV. Oh, boo. Instead of the slide out of the other one. Yeah. And your privacy That's is this little partition. Good. You have yeah. to crawl around each other. <laughs> 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 you have this little step up when I have multiple beverages, I will fall over. And the fridge is not in the bedroom. So. Points deducted. Points deducted. 21 XG. TV's in a. Okay, spot. Look, it has a nice J. Oh, I don't mind that TV placement. So, this is interesting. So, I guess this is the bed that flips down to where you see this. Oh! <gasps> but you can store e bikes or canoes or whatever you want in here. So, this is basically like a toy hauler mixed with a class C. It's kind of a toy hauler. What? Yeah, I don't know. Like, if you can put like, a motorcycle, I'd have to look at the stats. That is crazy. Just even for like bikes and canoes and stuff. This, I love this little fridge. Yeah, and then you have a. If you want to stay compact, this is a good one. This is oh. on the Ford chassis. We're like see a nice big touch screen for that party spot. Uh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You, you can put e-bikes in here. That's great. After that, we continued to tour the show, checking out some of the travel trailers and vendors in the final building before calling it a day and heading home. As we wrap up this video about the York RV show, we'd love to know, are you planning on heading to any RV shows this season? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give us a like or consider subscribing. And we'll see you next week as we post a new video. Thanks for watching.